Welcome to this LibreOffice Calc lesson on custom number formats. To create a custom number format, first select the cell or range of cells, then right click, choose Format Cells. The formatting is done in the Format Code text box down here. First select and delete any text in the box. A number sign or zero are placeholders for numbers. A number sign only displays significant digits. A zero displays a zero if there are fewer digits in a number than in the format. For example, if I format this number with a number sign, decimal point, then two number signs, the number will still come out with one digit after the decimal point as you can see here in the preview window. If I were formatting this for currency, I would want two places after the decimal point to show, even if there weren't digits in them. So I would use two zeros after the decimal point. Using a zero means if there's no number, show a zero anyways. A number sign will only show a number if there's a number. And now if I type in two zeros after the decimal, it shows two places after the decimal point in the preview. Now the format is suitable for currency. If the number has more than two places after the decimal point, the number will be rounded. Like if it was 0.577, it would show 0.58. On the other side of the decimal point, I can put one number sign and it will show the complete number no matter how many digits it actually has. Another thing I need here is a thousand separator. You can have a comma, period, or blank space as a thousand separator. You simply place it in the format code where it should go with the number signs or zeros. So I'll type a number sign, comma, three number signs, decimal point, then two zeros. And you can see in the preview how it formats the number. This would be suitable for a currency format. All I need to do is type the currency symbol in front of the first number sign and you can see what it looks like in the preview. A comment can also be added to describe the new format by pressing the edit comment button here and a text box appears below the format code box. I'll delete this and type new currency format. To add the format to calc, I click the add button with the check mark. It's now been added to the currency category. When you click on the new format, the comment appears below the format code box. If you click User Defined in the Category window, you'll see the new format appears there also. When I click OK, the format will be applied to the selected cells. When I type a number into the cell underneath, it takes on the new format. Now suppose you want to mix text with a number. I'll right-click on B1 Choose Format Cells, then select and delete the text in the Format Code text box. Let's say this number is a measurement in kilometers. I want only the thousands portion of the number to show, then a K after it. Here's how that would be done. Start with a number sign, then a comma, the comma is the thousand separator. If you don't put anything after it, it will not show any of the numbers after the thousands place. Now, when you only need to display one character, you can use a backslash, then the character, a K here. In the preview, you can see how the cell will be formatted, 24K. If you're only creating one new format, you can click OK and the format will be added to calc. You don't need to click the Add button then. So I'll click OK. And there's the new format. Now if I type in digits below 1000,
they will be rounded like 24, 6, 5, 5. And I get 25K. If you want to add text to a format that's more than one character, it must be enclosed by double quotes. I'll right-click on this cell, choose Format Cells, I'll select and delete the text in the Format Code text box. For Format, I'll type Number Sign, Decimal Point, then Zero. You can see how it rounded the last number in the preview. I'll put in another zero, then a space, double quote, meters, end quote. Click OK, and there's my custom format applied to the cell. Number formats can have up to three sections separated by a semicolon. If there's two sections, the first section will apply to values 0 and above. The second will apply to negative values. An example would be a currency format, where the negative values are colored red. I'll right-click on this amount. Choose Format Cells. First, choose Currency in the Category window. I'm in the United States, but if I needed to format the currency for another country, I would need to find the code for the currency symbol of that country. In the Format Code box, the currency symbol is this code in the square brackets here. Now let's say I need to format the cell for United Kingdom currency. In the drop-down under Format here, find the country you need. Then in the Format Code box, you'll find the code for the currency symbol. It will be surrounded in square brackets. I'll select the code for the currency symbol, press Ctrl-C to copy it. I'll select and delete the formula so I can create my own code from scratch. The reason I'm doing it this way is that some countries' currency symbol comes after the numbers. In that case, you would need to paste them after the number format. Since Great Britain's currency symbol comes before the numbers, I'll paste it first. Press Control v The first section is formatted for values 0 and above. So next comes the number format. One number sign, a comma for thousand separator, then three number signs, decimal point, two zeros. Now I type a semicolon to create the next section. In this section, the format is for negative values. Here I will specify a color for the text. There are eight color names that can be used for formatting. Here's a list of them. Formats are not case sensitive. You can type the color name in uppercase or lower. It doesn't matter. The color names must be enclosed in square brackets. So in brackets, I'll type red. Since this is going to be negative values, I want there to be a minus sign first. So type minus. Now the format again. The currency symbol comes first. I'll just paste it with control V. Then number sign, comma, three number signs, decimal point, two zeros. Press OK. Now when a negative amount appears in the cell, the text will be in red. If a format is divided into three sections with semicolons, the first section applies to positive values, the second section applies to negative values, and the third to zero. You can also assign conditional operators to specify the conditions for each section. Here's an example. I have three numbers. 
I want to format them to indicate temperature differences. If it's above 30, I want the text to be in red. If it's zero or below, I want the text to be blue. Otherwise, the text will be green. I'll select the cells with the three values. Right click and choose Format Cells. Now I'll get rid of the text in the Format Code text box. I'll start with the Low Temperature section. Square bracket, blue. End bracket. Comparison operators are enclosed in square brackets like the color names. I'll type brackets less than or equal to zero. Next comes the number format. I'll make it a number sign dot zero. Next, I want it to have the degree symbol and a C for centigrade. Since this is text, it must be placed in double quotes. So double quote. Then for the degree symbol, I need to right click and choose special character. Then double click on the degree symbol. Now I type a C, then end quote. Now a semicolon for the next section, the format for high temperatures. I'll put red in brackets then also in square brackets, more than 30. The format is the same as the first one, so I'll select it, press Control C to copy it, and paste it at the end with Control V. I'll type a semicolon for the next section, which is the temperature in between hot and cold, type green in brackets, then control V to paste the number formula again. I can see by the preview it looks like what I want, so press OK. And there you go. Now if you ever want to remove a format you created, Select and right click on the cells, choose Format Cells. Under Category, choose User Defined. Then make sure the correct format is selected. Click the Remove button, then click OK. Be careful doing this because any cells on any spreadsheet which had that format will now revert to their default formatting. Well, that concludes this lesson on custom number formatting. Thanks for watching.